opening restaurants, I understand the economic benefit and I understand the economic pressure that they've been under. A restaurant is not just the restaurant owner. A restaurant uh, is the kitchen staff, the wait staff. Uh, there's a whole industry around restaurants. And uh, restaurants also pose a possible risk, right? The concentrations of people inside indoor dining. But there's also a great economic loss when they don't operate. We had a caution flag with restaurants and indoor dining for two reasons. Number one, we are doing indoor dining at 50% across the rest of the state. We have seen clusters outbreak from restaurants. So that was a reason for caution. Second, we knew that compliance was lacking in New York City. That was a reason for caution. Uh, we've been speaking with stakeholders. We've been working on this issue every day. Uh, and we're now announcing today that we can go to 25% of indoor dining with certain restrictions that will uh, be enacted on September 30th. Indoor dining, the rules will be temperature checks for anyone who comes in at the door. One member of each party has to leave information, phone number, email, so that there's contact tracing information if there is an outbreak. One person from every party. No bar service. The bars will only be for service bars for wait staff. Uh, they can make drinks, they can transfer them over the bar, but nobody will be sitting at the bar. Masks must be worn at all time, uh, except when you're sitting at the table. All tables must be six feet apart. Restaurants will close at midnight. Uh, strict adherence to the state guidance that has been promulgated. Restaurants will have the air filtration requirement, the enhanced air filtration requirement that is specified in the state guidance. Uh, there'll be limited air recirculation. We want air from the outside uh, to provide additional ventilation. Outdoor dining can continue along with 25% of indoor dining. How do you do compliance? State will expand the SLA State Police Task Force. New York City will provide uh, ultimately 400 code enforcement inspectors to work with that task force. Uh, the number of places that are going to have to be checked for compliance are about 10,000. So even with the state expanding the task force and the city adding 400 code compliance inspectors to that task force, 10,000 is still a very large universe. So I have a new idea, new ideas. The new idea to assist with compliance is this. New Yorkers themselves will help with compliance. New Yorkers will keep New Yorkers safe. The New York community, community of New Yorkers, is the best compli compliance unit. 